four, three, two, one, go. Hey guys, Ranjin here bringing all another stuff commentary. It's going to be the first game of Group B in the round of 32 in the Avalon MSL. Jiangbi versus Bisu on Byzantium 2. Let's get the Byzantium 3, I'm sorry. Colors and positions out of the way at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. We're going to have the white Protoss Bisu. That means that at the 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock, uh, we're going to have the orange Protoss Jiangbi. So, holy crap, right out of the gates. Uh, a rematch of the Club Day MSL and the GOM TV second season finals. These two players, I gotta say, have a little bit of a PvP rivalry going on between them, and I gotta give the advantage to Bisu right now because Bisu has been dominant as all hell lately. While Jangbi has been playing a little bit below his usual insane skills, I think uh, Bisu might have taken him down a peg or two, so he not being is really not playing at his best. After that, I honestly believe that. And I gotta say, I gotta appreciate Bisu. His PvP skills have risen in the last month immensely. He used to be a PvZ specialist. Now his PvP stats are actually better than his PvZ stats, if I remember correctly. And just something I look forward to insanely. Group B! Talking about Group B! Holy crap! Bisu, Jongbi, Free, and Cal. We're gonna lose two of the six dragons right out of the gates. And I gotta say, Free probably not playing at the level he sh needs to play right now to get through this group so I gotta put him at a des definite disadvantage and uh... Jiangbi, we're gonna see if he managed to pull something out well I believe that Bisu is definitely gonna be able to get out of this group and I think that it's gonna come down to between Jiangbi and Cal which one of those players manages to get through I'm gonna personally say I think Cal will get through because he's been playing decently but, you know, Jiangbi is the kind of player that surprises you. It's these kind of situations that he just manages to pull through. Both players are sending scouts in the same direction. They're going to both scout each other second, seeing as this is cross positions. Nothing really funky from what I see coming up. Both players putting up their gateways. I'm going to see whether... Most likely just going to go for very standard... Uh, Goes and Reavers now going to spot each other's probes there. Bisu is going to go inside the base. You might be thinking that there's a late something something command. Uh, so I'm not just coming down, down from Jongbi, so I'm not seeing anything anything funky, both players pretty much doing the same build so far, we're going to see whether they decide to deviate, but I'm expecting gateway, core gateway, and then into Reaver. Of course, in PvP it's all come down to maybe, comes down to who deviates just a little bit, sometimes you go for one gateway and go for quick Reavers, try to get those Reavers out sooner to do some harassment, and usually PvP comes down to massive, massive... Dragoon to Reaver play. John be actually going to uh, block his downward choke. Going to get a Zell out there just in time. And Bisu should actually be able to get that probe through if he tries. We're going to see whether he tries to macro around that Zell. No, he actually is going to push back a little bit harder to go down a ramp apparently than going up a ramp. And Jongbi still has not scouted Bisu. He did not go for... Uh, he scouted right, then he scouted down to the left rather than continuing the circle. Possibly, try, tr uh, he thought he had read Bisu's scouting pattern perfectly, and Jiangbi, uh, Bisu, I'm sorry, no, Jiangbi, I'm sorry, does have range upgrading. I didn't quite see whether Bisu's core was spinning, didn't notice it there either. So don't see any more gateways being put down there. Yeah, okay, core spinning for both players, so they are going for the pretty much the exact same build so far. No deviation at the point. Dragoons are out for both players down on the field, going to be able to prevent scouts. And Bisu actually has his Dragoon out that early that Jiangbi actually does not know what he's doing. Adding two more gateways, probably as soon as he knew, knew that. So he's going to delay his Reavers, probably not, maybe not even going to go for it. Just two gateways, going to push in with Dragoons. And Dragoon and Dragoon are going to meet each other in the middle. So Jiangbi does not have the scout, so he does not really know what Bisu would go for. And when you don't have the scout and Bisu, you're going to be in trouble. Jiangbi still doesn't have anything so far. Two gateways coming up for Bisu. I'm not seeing... Any more gateways being a four gates for four gates from Bisu. So he's gonna go for a four gate Dragoon Pooch, is gonna push in, try to finish it off right quick, no harassment or anything. Jong B still only on one gateway, he's gonna find himself heartily heavily numbered. He's actually gonna go for an expansion. He's gonna go for one gateway expansion. Oh, I think this was just suicidal by Jong B. This was a suicidal move. I don't really know why he went for this in a PvP. This can be so so dangerous. So so dangerous, especially if the other, even if the other person just goes for Reavers, it's gonna be such a dangerous thing to do. If he had gone for Reavers, he would have been at least in a better position to try to defend himself. Possibly he thought that Beast would be going for an uh, for 
Zero harassment now just adding in his second guy away, just not going to have nearly enough forces to defend against what Beast is going to be going at him. So Beast is probably going to be able to take this game uh, unless Jungmi pulls something miraculous, somehow manages to hold his natural expansion and uh, gets a serious economic advantage. But somehow I see a player of Bisu's caliber not, definitely not failing to take advantage of a opportunity such as this now as Dragoon's popping up. He has also one Zealot alongside, he's going to be able to push in and do, deal a lot of damage. Jungmi has also put down a pylon at the front, also has a nexus up. And now put two more gateways down, but they are coming in a little bit too late. He's going to have to start producing forces right quick. He is going to have a pretty quick resupply route. Well, it's going to be take Beast a little bit of time. Beast now is moving downwards with forces down the middle. Jambio has two Dragoons there at his higher ramp defending there. Not really much out of as soon as he's He has one more Dragoon at the side and one Zealot alongside. Probes, he's going to have to pull those probes off to fight off because his own gateways are just coming in right now. He's not going to be able to produce Dragoons. He now has seen what Beast is going to go for here. Beast is going to be able to produce even more Dragoons to try and reinforce as goes. Beast is not quite pushing forward at this very moment, possibly waiting until we can centralize all those forces. Maybe even send out one Zealot to try to reinforce. Jangbi only has four Zealots to Beast who's six away. Five, uh, five Dragoons, I'm sorry. Beast has six. Seven actually, Bisu at numbers definitely. So Jambi has to be very careful as the Micron pulling his probes off the line to try to block Dra Dragoon shots. But Bisu has quite a few more Dragoons. Now it's going to come to this battle. Even more Dragoons are moving on for Bisu. Jambi reinforcing as well as he can. Bisu has actually lost several of his own Dragoons. Jambi is actually pushing back here. Probes he pulled out. Bisu only has one to two Dragoons there at this point. Jambi has done a wonderful job here. Bisu has his one Zealot there who has been taking some hits. And Bisu somehow has been pushed back. Jambi with a magnificent job. Now, if he manages to hold his natural, he's actually going to take a serious economic advantage. Bisu is now moving in with reinforcement forces and quite a few of those dragoons of Jambi's are going to be damaged now Beast is finally moving but Jambi actually has enough dragoons to really push him back no reverse for Beast so far I'm not even sure how he's doing this Beast so is actually being pushed back Jambi has managed to hold his natural expansion and now he's going to if it continues manages to hold this and Beast is not going to be able to push in Jambi is going to be able to win this game somehow pulls the dragoons out at just the correct time Beast is going for the steal of a dune she's so been only thinking of adding uh Dark Templar to the mix, probably going to try to trust in his Dark Templar, but Jongbi so far just has those Dragoon outside, still probably doesn't have the scout on Bisu, that's Bisu trusting in to use that Silver Dune, just has a huge line of Dragoons there, is mining at two bases though, so very soon, very soon his Mackerel kick in, is be able to, to produce a crap load of more forces than Bisu is. And Beast was not going to be able to push through this, not going to be able to break through. Somehow, just his timing was a little bit off. I think he might have wanted to push in with those Dragoons maybe 20 seconds earlier. He would have caught those Dragoons before they were to move in. Now we're going to see the Temple Archives being put down by Bisu. So there are going to be some Dark Temple coming in, and that's going to be it. Uh, we're going to see if Jambi does not have an Observatory up or any cannons up. He's now putting down a robotic facility. Let's hope for his sake that he puts down the Observatory first because he doesn't have the scout. He hasn't had the scout the entire time, so I think he might actually go for Observatory first. It's all going to come down to timing. If he tries to go for Reavers before Observatory, he's going to be in quite a lot of trouble. Bisu just now staying outside. One probe scout being sent out to spot the amount of forces. We're going to see what Jungbi actually thinking of possibly breaking out of his base. He does have enough Dragoons for it's all going to come to micro. Forces are going to meet each other. I think Jungbi actually might have a Dragoon or two more. Bisu instantly gets several of his killed. Now just going to Dragoons fire all over the place. Dragoons dying. Bisu trying to reinforce a little bit. We're going to see what they actually be. Jungbi, of course, has a much, much quicker resupply route. Pushes out of his base. Now Bisu is going to be a little bit of trouble. He's going to have some uh, Dark Temple running down uh, alongside the middle, but Jongbi now going to be pushed out, out of his base. He's going to have two bases and going to have a crap load of mining going on. Beast is still sitting on one base, going to be able to produce a lot of Dark Temple though because the Temple Archives are on already. And Observatory Force coming up for Jongbi, so he actually might be able to completely counter this because as soon as the Dark Templars are out, Jongbi is going to have observers out to counter those. So I think actually the way the game has set itself up, Jongbi miraculously managing to hold back the huge push that sh should have been an absolute hammer of doom from Bisu somehow managed to push it back and hold position and I think that actually just that might win him the game here this is so insane two Dark Temple are now on the field but I think Observer is, abs is imminent very soon shuttle alongside as well so there are going to be some Reavers too out on the field and just the way it's setting itself up Jiangbi has a highly larger number much higher number of Dragoons out on the field over a control group. Those two Temple Dark Templars now running out, going to try to do some damage and even more Dragoons that are being produced by Peace Suit. Finally, a probe scrub trying to come in by Jiangmi, not managing. Dark Templar are now going to go going to start engaging those Dragoons. Going to see how much First Observer is now out though. So Dragoons running to the same fear. Observers and Dark Templars are going to die without killing a single force. So I think the way the game has set itself up is that Jiangmi is going to move over to win <laughs> move on to the winner's match.
Oh man, Bisu really can't do anything at this point. Maybe try to go for a just last final assault. He has a couple of zealots alongside his dragoons, but his army is so, so much smaller. Jambi just completely out macroing, and there's no way Bisu can produce an army large enough to do any sort of economic damage or do any sort of damage. Now that I think about it, he's now putting himself up just outside his base. Actually, he's going to push down. There's the pylon to help Jambi block A. Jambi has a, so, many uh, so many dragoons. Two zealots come in from uh, Bisu alongside. But I'm expecting the GG any second now. Jami now just gonna push up, take care of all these. There you go. GG coming in from Bisu. Wow, that I gotta say was a huge surprise. No idea. Bisu, I think, just as I said before, delayed his push just a little bit, and that came out to bite him. That came back to bite him. Just push, just delaying that push. Should have been a push down just a little bit. Then he would have been able to catch Jongbi just before re his reinforcements came in. And Jongbi, with beautiful micromanagement, managed to kill Bisu there. So Bisu moving on to the losers match. We're not going to see him again until a few weeks from now, where he'll going to face off the lo uh, the loser of. Game two. So, GG guys, wrenching out. Thanks for listening. Great game, guys. Great game. Moving on soon.